My name is Marco Cain. I'm the manager of Woodburn Pharmacy. Woodburn Pharmacy was opened in 1969 by Mr. Jim Doyle. Uh, a lot of new families have just moved to the area. Um, we have come a long way since then. Um, back then, um, it was all handwritten labels and loose medication and amber bottles. And I'm sure pharmacy robots were like the you know the, the things of science fiction. We use the VBM 200F um, for our uh, for our blister packs, um, or our trays. We have been using it for about a year now. Um, I think we kind of started them in April uh, 2021. There's several negative aspects to uh, manual MDS trays. Um, tablets are touched or, um, before being put into the tray. Um, it's prone to human error. Um, sometimes it be, can be hard to identify a tablet or a capsule. And um, there's limited information that's made available to the, to the patient. Our key goals for automating the MDS process were to streamline the whole process, um, shorten the time frame that it takes, increase the amount of MDS patients that we could take on. Um, most pharmacies in Northern Ireland would still be on the manual MDS process and they, they do, they, they, would have a, they would have a certain capacity and most, if not all, have reached that capacity. The automating that process drastically increases the amount of patients that you can take on. Manual MDS trays take an awfully long time to make and check um, and automation has, has streamlined that and gave us far more time to push other services and re really kind of help members of the public and our community. Um, so it's, be, it's been wonderful and really well timed. For the most part we have achieved our, our goals and aspirations. We have streamlined our MDS processes. They're done in a fraction of the time. But like an entire week's worth of work can be done in four hours which is amazing. Um, I, I definitely didn't think that that was that, that was possible but before. I um, thought it was a bit of a bit of a bit of a stretch. Um, we've been able to uh, take on far more MDS patients um, and seen to it that they can take their medicines safely and I think that's that's a, re a really good thing. One of the main selling points to, uh, for uh, for us for the on the cell was the the pictures um, being able to uh, being able to see all the medications on the on the screen and um, kind of you know identify them um, and then relay that information to the patient because um, each each tray is accompanied by a by a, by a piece of paper with the, the printout of their medication uh, and an image. Um, it's really useful if a patient asks you which, which medication does what, you, you can just point to it and, and tell them. Um, it, was, it certainly was very intimidating, but we quickly realised um, through the help of the OmniCell staff member that was here that it is very easy to operate and he, um, he pointed out that he could, he could take someone from the, from the street walking by and uh, sit with them all day and by the end of that day they would be able to make the, make the trays you know, just as effectively as a, as a trained uh, member of staff. Um, and that, that speaks to just how easy and simple the, the, the software is. And, we have invested in the OmniCell robot in anticipation of the medicines at here in service being funded. A year ago we were at capacity with the manual MDS uh, system um, that, we, that we had um, and that's to say nothing of the additional pressures being put on the staff by COVID-19. We now have the ability to provide this service safely and efficiently for our community patients and that's all down to the future potential funding of the service in Northern Ireland. This is a service patients really rely on and the future looks bright for community pharmacy in Northern Ireland.